stimulus, detectable change in the internal or external environment of an organism that produces a response in the organism. Selection pressure, the environmental force altering the frequency of alleles in a population. Receptor, cell adapted to detect changes in the environment. Effector, organ that responds to stimulation by a nerve impulse resulting in a response. Stimulus, receptor, coordinator, effector, response. Taxis, symbol response whose direction is determined by the direction of the stimulus. Kinesis, response in which the organism moves more rapidly and randomly as the stimulus gets more unpleasant until it finds favorable conditions. Tropism, growth movement of a part of a plant in response to directional stimulus. CNS is made up of the brain and spinal cord. PNS is made up of pairs of nerves that originate from the spine. PNS consists of sensory neurons that carry impulses from the receptors to the CNS and motor neurons that carry impulses from the CNS to the effector. PNS can be divided into voluntary or conscious control and autonomic or subconscious control. Spinal cord, column of nervous tissue that runs along the back and lies inside the vertebral column for protection. Reflex arc, stimulus, receptor, sensory neuron, intermediate neuron, motor neuron, effector, response. The autonomic response is important as it does not overflow the brain with information, protects the body from harmful stimuli, and is fast due to the short neuron pathway. Sympathetic speeds up, parasympathetic slows down. Changes in heart rate are controlled by the medulla oplanata. The medulla oplanata has two centers joined to the sternal atrial node, one via the sympathetic nervous system, and one by the parasympathetic. Lowered pH or blood pressure cause a faster heart rate. Pacinian corpuscles respond to changes in mechanical pressure, are specific to a single type of stimulus, produce a generator potential by acting as transducer, occur deep in the skin and have a single sensory neuron at the center of layers of tissue, separated by gel. A stretch-mediated sodium channel is too narrow to allow Na plus in at resting state but when pressure is applied the membrane stretches, allowing Na plus in. This influx of Na plus depolarizes the membrane, producing a generator potential, which produces an action potential. Light receptors are found in the retina, the innermost layer of the eye. Rod cells are greater in number than cone cells, found in the periphery, have poor visual acuity, are sensitive to low light, produce a black and white image and have multiple linked to one bipolar cell. Cone cells are fewer in number, concentrated at the fovea, have good visual acuity, are not sensitive to low light, produce a color image and are each attached to their own bipolar cell. The nervous system uses nerve cells to pass electrical impulses along their length and stimulate target cells by secreting neurotransmitters onto them. The hormonal system produces hormones that are transported in the blood plasma to stimulate target cells. Chemical mediators are released from certain cells and have an effect on cells in the immediate vicinity. IAA is a plant growth factor that causes cells to elongate. Cell body contains nucleus and large amounts of rough endoplasmic reticulum for production of neurotransmitters. Dendrons, small extensions of the cell body which subdivide into dendrites that carry impulses towards the cell body. Axon, single long fiber that carries impulses away from the cell body. Schwann cells, surround the axon, protecting it and providing electrical insulation. They also carry out phagocytosis and play a part in nerve regeneration. Myelin sheath, made up of Schwann cells, rich in myelin and helps play a part in transmitting nerve impulses faster. Nodes of Ranvia, 2 to 3 micrometers gaps every 1 to 3 millimeters where there is no myelin sheath. In the sodium potassium pump, Na plus is actively transported out of the axon and K plus is actively transported in, but at a lower rate, resulting in a chemical gradient, where outside is more positive, causing Na plus to diffuse back in and K plus to diffuse out. The axon is 100 times more permeable to K plus than Na plus so the potential difference increases, with an equilibrium established at around minus 70 millivolts. 
during an action potential, energy from the stimulus opens some sodium voltage gated channels, so Na plus diffuses in, reversing the potential difference. The influx of Na plus causes more sodium voltage gated channels to open. When the potential difference reaches 40 MV, the sodium channels close and the potassium channels open, causing the gradient to be reversed so more potassium channels open, so potassium exits and repolarizes the axon. There is a temporary overshoot that closes the potassium channels and the sodium-potassium pump restarts. On an unmyelinated axon, localized electrical circuits open sodium gates and depolarize the axon. Potassium diffuses out, repolarizing behind the action potential. On a myelinated axon, the myelin sheath acts as an electrical insulator, so the action potential jumps between nodes of Ranvia, making it faster than an unmyelinated axon. The speed of an action potential is also sped up by higher temperatures and an axon with a larger diameter. Refractory period, period during which the membrane of an axon of a neuron cannot be depolarized, so no new action potential can be initiated. Spatial summation, many different presynaptic neurons together release enough neurotransmitter to exceed the threshold. Temporal summation, a single presynaptic neuron releases neurotransmitter many times over a short period until it exceeds the threshold. In a collagenic synapse, the neurotransmitter is acetylcholine. During transmission across a collagenic synapse the action potential opens calcium channels and Ca2 plus enters the synaptic knob. This influx causes the synaptic vesicles to fuse with the presynaptic membrane releasing acetylcholine into the synaptic cleft. Acetylcholine fuse with the receptor sites on the sodium channels of the postsynaptic membrane, opening them and allowing Na plus to generate a new action potential in the postsynaptic neuron. Acetylcholine is hydrolyzed into ethanoic acid and choline, which are recycled, and ATP rejoin the choline and ethanoic acid, and the sodium channels close in their absence. There are three types of muscle, cardiac in the heart, smooth in the walls of blood vessels, and skeletal in the bulk of the body muscle invertebrates. Muscles are made up of millions of muscle fibers called myofibrils. Myofibrils are made of two proteins, thinner actin, which consists of two strands twisted around each other, and thicker myosin, which consists of rob-shaped fibers with bulbous heads. Actin and myosin overlap in the I bands but not in the A bands. H zone, light region at the center of the A band. Z line, line at the center of the I band. Sarcoma, distance between two Z lines. Slow twitch respire aerobically, fast twitch respire anaerobically. During contraction, the I band narrows, the sarcoma shortens and the H zone narrows, but the A band stays the same. In the sliding filament mechanism, tropmyosin prevents the myosin heads from binding to the actin, but when Ca2 plus from the endoplasmic reticulum changes its shape, tropomyosin is pulled away from the binding sites, so the myosin head binds to the actin filament and changes angle, moving the actin filament along. ADP is released and ATP attaches, detaching the myosin from the actin. This ATP is then hydrolyzed to ADP by ACPase, providing the energy for the myosin head to return to its original angle, causing it to bind further along. The cycle then repeats. Homostasis, the maintenance of constant internal environment. In the second messenger model, a hormone acts as the first messenger and binds to specific receptors on the cell surface membrane of the target cells, forming a hormone receptor complex, activating an enzyme inside the cell which results in the production of a chemical, the second messenger, which causes a series of chemical changes that produce the required response. Alpha cells produce glucagon, beta cells produce insulin. Glycogenolysis, conversion of glycogen to glucose. Gluconeogenesis, conversion of non-carbohydrate molecules to glucose. Glycogenesis, conversion of glucose to glycogen. Insulin binds with receptors, changing the tertiary structure of glucose transport protein channels so that they open and allow glucose into the cell, and activates the enzymes for glycogenesis. Glucagon binds to liver cells, 
activating the enzymes for glycogenolysis and increases gluconeogenesis. Adrenaline activates the enzymes for glycogenolysis and activates the enzymes for glycogenesis. FSH and LH are made in the pituitary gland. Estrogen and progesterone are made in the ovaries. FSH stimulates follicle development in the ovaries and stimulates them to produce estrogen. LH causes ovulation and stimulates ovaries to produce progesterone from the corpus luteum. Estrogen causes rebuilding of the uterus lining and stimulates LH production. Progesterone maintains the uterus lining and inhibits production of FSH. During the first five days of the menstrual cycle the uterus lining sheds with blood. From day one the pituitary gland releases FSH, stimulating the follicle to grow, containing an egg. The growing follicle secretes a small amount of estrogen, rebuilding the lining of the uterus and inhibiting the release of FSH and LH from the pituitary. The level of estrogen remains high until day 10, when it stimulates FSH and LH production, causing ovulation. If the egg is not fertilized, the corpus luteum, that was stimulated to form by LH and secreted progesterone to maintain the lining, degenerates causing the lining to break down, restarting the menstrual cycle. RNA is made up of ribose, an organic base and a phosphate group. mRNA is arranged in a helix, tRNA is arranged as a clover joined to an amino acid. In DNA, it joins with T. In RNA, it joins with U. Polypeptide synthesis has three stages. Transcription, splicing and translation. During transcription, DNA helicase breaks hydrogen bonds between bases on a specific region of DNA, separating the strands. RNA polymerase then moves along the template strand, joining it to complementary bases, building pre-mRNA. The DNA strands then rejoin behind and RNA polymerase detaches when it reaches a stop code. During splicing exons join together and introns are removed, forming mRNA. During translation a ribosome attaches to a start codon on the mRNA, and tRNA with a complementary anticodon moves to the ribosome and pairs with the mRNA. An enzyme and ATP join the amino acids on these tRNA bipeptide bonds. As the ribosome moves to the third codon, the first tRNA is released from its amino acid and goes on to collect another from the pool. The ribosome continues down the mRNA until it reaches a stop codon. Deletion mutations cause a frame shift. Substitution mutations can be nonsense, resulting in a stop codon, missense, coding for a different amino acid, or silent, where there is a different base but the same amino acid is coded for. Mutations can be spontaneous, or can be caused by radiation or chemicals. Proto-oncogenes stimulate cell division. Tumor suppressor genes slow cell division. Totipotent cells are undifferentiated. When a gene is not expressed, the site on the transcriptional factor is blocked by an inhibitor, preventing transcription. Estrogen is lipid-soluble so diffuses through the phospholipid bilayer of the cell surface membrane and combines with the receptor molecule of the transcriptional factor due to the complementary shape, changing the shape of the receptor molecule, releasing the inhibitor. CRNA prevents gene expression as it is formed when an enzyme cuts double-stranded RNA, binds to the enzyme and guides it to the mRNA by pairing with complementary bases. The enzyme then cuts the mRNA into smaller sections. Retrovirus, a virus which is genetic information in the form of RNA, and is able to synthesize DNA using reverse transcriptase. Making proteins using DNA technology has five stages. Isolation, insertion, transformation, identification and growth or cloning. When synthesizing DNA, a cell that readily produces protein has the mRNA extracted and reverse transcriptase is used to make cDNA from RNA. DNA polymerase is then used to make the other strand. Restriction and donucleases are enzymes that cut DNA at a specific sequence, leaving either blunt or sticky ends. Two fragments cut by the same restriction and donuclease can rejoin using sticky ends, forming recombinant DNA using DNA ligase. When inserting a DNA fragment into a vector the most common vector is a plasmid. 
restriction in donucleases cut it an antibiotic resistant gene, breaking the plasmid loop, and the DNA fragment, cut with the same restriction in donuclease, is incorporated into the plasmid and joined permanently using DNA ligase to form recombinant DNA. During transformation the plasmids and some bacterial cells are mixed in a CA. 2 plus containing medium, making bacteria permeable so the plasmids can enter the cytoplasm, however only a few cells take up a plasmid, and some of the plasmids will have closed without incorporating the DNA fragment. We identify those which contain the plasmid by growing cells on a medium containing antibiotics as only those that have taken up the plasmid will survive. We identify those with a new gene as they will die on a replica plate with the antibiotic for which the resistant gene was cut, or using a fluorescent marker with the GFP gene. The polymerase chain reaction requires DNA fragments, DNA polymerase to join nucleotides, primers, which are short nucleotide sequences with a set of bases complementary to each end of the DNA fragments, nucleotides and a thermocycler. PCR, which is done in vitro, has three stages. Separation of DNA at 95 degrees, annealing of primers at 55 degrees, and synthesis of DNA at 72 degrees using DNA polymerase. Advantages of in vitro are that it is extremely rapid and doesn't require living cells. Advantages of in vivo are that it is useful if you wish to introduce the new gene into another organism, has little risk of contamination, is very accurate, cuts out specific genes, and produces transferred bacteria that can produce large quantities of gene products. Gene replacement, defective gene is replaced by the wild type. Gene supplementation, one or more copies of the wild type is added alongside the defective gene. Germline therapy, replacing or supplementing the gene in a fertilized egg. Somatic gene therapy, targets just the affected tissue and additional gene, therefore it will not be present in the sperm or egg so will not be passed on. The adenovirus is sometimes used as a vector during gene therapy, and is introduced through the nostrils, so that it will inject DNA into the epithelial cells of the lungs. DNA probe, a short, single-stranded section of DNA, labeled to make it easily identifiable. DNA sequencing uses four test tubes, each containing many single-stranded DNA fragment, a mixture of nucleotides, one of four terminator nucleotides, a labeled primer and DNA polymerase. In gel electrophoresis fragments are placed on agarose gel and a voltage is applied. Resistance of the gene means smaller fragments move faster. Photographic film is then placed above and exposed by a radioactive label. Genetic fingerprinting involves extraction, digestion using restriction and donucleases, separation by gel electrophoresis, hybridization, where probes join with a core sequence, and development using X-ray film. In genetic screening the order of nucleotides is determined by DNA sequencing and genetic libraries store these for mutated genes. Fragments of DNA complementary to the mutated portion are produced and a DNA probe is formed by radioactively labeling the fragment. PCR is used to produce copies of the probe and they are added to single-stranded fragment from the patient. If the patient has the mutation the probe will bind and X-ray film will be exposed.